Good morning, everyone. Look who I have in the kitchen today. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> look what he's holding a crock pot. Yep. Today, we are going to make an enchilada casserole in the crock pot. All right. Ooh, I'm ready. Let's he's start. ready for this one. Look at all of this deliciousness right here. We've got cheese, taco seasoning, olives, onion. We've got corn tortillas, a little bit of water. What do we got over there, Joseph? We got some ground beef. Uh, we got some enchilada sauce. That's the mild version. Yep. And then we've got some whole corn, some, and then some diced tomatoes. Oh, both cons and rotel? Yep. Yeah. So the Rotel has green chilies in it. Now, if you don't want the green chilies, you can just use a regular can of diced tomatoes. Now I have one and I'm supplementing the other one with the <clears throat> Rotel that has the green chilies in okay. it. Okay. Some delicious flavorings going on. Okay, we're ready to get started. Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> He's ready. I'm gonna put him to work. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually morning time. It's like about nine o'clock in the morning. I had to roll him out of bed. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's his off day, so I'm like, yay. Yep. <laughs> he has done another uh, video with me in the, using the crock pot, and it was the lasagna, and we layered that thing all the way up to the top. Y'all yeah, go check that one out if you haven't seen it. Oh, it was so delicious. All right, you ready for this one? Oh, I'm ready. Enchilada Mexican casserole in the crock pot. Let's do it. We're going to start by doing the ground beef mixture first. Now, I always cook up my ground beef before I put it in the crock pot. There's just something about that texture that I really like, yes. okay? <laughs> you can put it in there raw, but I'm gonna tell you what, it's gonna take longer and that texture is gonna be kind of off. All right, so the first thing we got going on is a large skillet over medium high heat. Joseph's gonna add about one tablespoon of some cooking oil. Now we're using avocado oil. It adds a delicious flavor, it's a healthy oil too. So he's gonna go ahead and add the ground beef here. We're using two pounds of ground beef. I gotta feed this person right here. Hey. <laughs> Plus, there's other people in the house that want to eat. So. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> After he hits the crock pot. Okay. What's this? <laughs> he makes a good food. I can't help it. Oh, well, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, what I have here is just, I'm dicing up an onion, just kind of a rough chop. The onion gives a nice flavor to the ground beef. Okay, now since the ground beef takes just a few minutes to get nice and browned up and the onions nice and soft, we'll bring it back as soon as the ground beef is no longer pink. Okay, the ground beef is all browned and the onions are nice and soft. What we're gonna do is We've already drained the meat out, okay, and got the grease out. What we're gonna do is add a quarter cup of water and three tablespoons of taco seasoning. Now this is my homemade taco seasoning blend and I like to use this because you get a big, you can make a big bowl of it and then just save it in an airtight container and you can season that any way you want. If you want more cumin in it, if you like more pepper in it, whatever you want. You can make it your blend. And all it is is seasoning, so there's no other extras or anything like that to preserve it. All right, it's gonna get that stirring up here. We got it. Mm -hmm. And then what we're gonna do, cause you want your meat nice and seasoned before we build up our casserole. So as he's getting that mixed up, we've got two cans of enchilada sauce that we're gonna put in. And he's going to start getting all that going. Now you do want this soupy, okay, because we've got corn tortillas that we're going to be building up into this and they're going to be absorbing all of this flavor so we can make it, you know, like an enchilada. Oh, it's going to be so delicious. Yeah, it is. Okay, I've got one can here. It's a 14 ounce size of Rotel tomatoes. And then I have a regular can of diced tomatoes. Now these are fire roasted, so it'll give it a little flavor. All right, that's it. I know you see the corn right here, but that's gonna be used in the layering technique. Or if you have a can of beans that you've drained and rinsed off, you can use that also in the layering technique. All right, we're gonna go ahead now and turn this off. 
and he's going to finish stirring this up. We're going to bring the corn tortillas over here and get those worked on. He's already excited. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he said the ground beef smelled delicious when it was cooked with the onion. With, yeah. Like, with really? With the onion. Well, I'm hungry. <laughs> He's hungry. Yeah, I'm ready. Now, if you don't have homemade taco seasoning, you can use this three tablespoons will equal one packet of taco seasoning that you would buy in your store. Okay, so what Joseph is doing is pulling out 20 corn tortillas, and we are going to cut those into quarters. Okay, this casserole is all about the layering, and the first thing you want to do is spray the inside of your crock pot and the sides with some cooking spray. Now what that will do is prevent your tortillas from sticking inside of your crock pot here. Now what Joseph's going to do, take some tortillas and he's going to layer them in the bottom of the crock pot here till we have a single layer. Now you can overlap if you need to. That's totally fine. The next step is to put half of our meat mixture on top of the tortillas here. We're just going to use a ladle and evenly put it all over the corn tortillas. We're going to layer another layer of tortillas on top of the meat mixture. Okay, when he gets this layer done here, we're going to take a 15 ounce size can of corn that I've drained. We're going to place half of that over the corn tortillas. Now I have a four ounce can of sliced olives that I've drained. We're going to place half of this on top of the corn and then we're going to put half a bag of shredded cheese on top of that. Now I'm just using some sharp cheddar cheese if you want to use a Mexican blend. This is an eight ounce package so four ounces will go on top of that. All right we're going to top this with another layer of tortillas. Now Joseph has several videos out there that he has done with me. I will link them down below in kind of like a playlist for you guys if you want to see other videos that he's done. Yep. He especially likes breakfast casseroles too. No, you know it. But he's definitely a fan of casseroles. Mm-hmm. Now on top of the tortillas here, we're going to add a third of the ground beef mixture. So actually you're going to like whatever's left, you're going to do half of going to top with more tortillas. You want as many layers of tortillas that you can get for this casserole. Remember, it's going to absorb all of these flavors and all of that sauce. Mm-hmm. That's going to be good. All right. We're going to place four ounces of cheese on top of that. The rest of the drained corn. All right. We're going to go ahead now and add the rest of the meat mixture on top of this. All right, we're going to top it with the rest of the tortillas. Joseph, you got some friends coming over to help eat this? Mm. <laughs> help? I don't need help. He doesn't need help. Okay, so y'all invite him over. <laughs> he will help eat whatever you make. Mm. Right? Oh, always. <laughs> He's excited about this one, though. Oh, That's very sure. excited about this one. All right. What we're going to do now is add some more cheese to top this with. Now, I didn't say that earlier because I said eight ounces, but there's going to be some additional cheese on top of here. Don't throw your shoes at me, okay? <laughs> no slippers. This makes Joseph's day. It does make my day. So we're going to top with uh, another four ounces of cheese. And then we're going to top with the other half a can of olives. Now this is a four ounce can, so two ounces of sliced olives. And then we're just gonna evenly place them around. Okay, we're gonna place the lid on. We're gonna cook this. You can cook it on high for about two to three hours or low for four to six hours. Low or high? High. <laughs> <laughs> Super duper high. <laughs> Can we get it done in an hour? No. <laughs> that would be my other video that I have where I've made something similar to this and put it in the oven and it was done in 45 minutes. So whatever you want to do. I'm showing you a crock pot version right here. Now we're going to come back because Joseph wants to give this a try for you guys. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you're still here. 
comment down below what you think and don't forget this recipe can be found on my blog at www.catherinesplates.com you can also find me on facebook yep. okay we've cooked this on three and a half hours on the high heat that's what it looks like i kind of gave it a little taste down here on the side here and those corn those corn tortillas are so delicious and just filled with that flavor. So what I'm going to do is just leave this off for about 30 minutes to kind of just solidify and pull itself all together here. And then Joseph and I are going to give it a try. Mmm. All right, get the plate ready. He's ready. Whenever you want. Oh, that looks so yummy. Want some more? Alright. Yummy. Okay, what do you think of our enchilada casserole in the crock pot? It smells amazing. <laughs> Look at all of these flavors in there. We added a little sour cream and green onion. There's a tortilla right there, the corn tortilla. It's got a little cheese and olive on it. Look at all those flavors inside. Look at that. Okay, so he got himself a nice, healthy plate. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we're going in. Some nice, cool sour cream with a bite. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. What do you think? Well, really. It's really good. <laughs> it tastes like enchiladas. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it is so good. It definitely tastes like enchiladas. <laughs> there you go, guys. Build it up in the crock pot. Yep. I told you he eats a lot. Yep. If you take him home, that's what's going to happen. Comment down below what you think. Don't forget our thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. And also, comment down below as well. Share this recipe Share it, yeah. with all your family and friends because you know they are going to want to try it. You can find me on Facebook and on my recipe blog, www.catherinesplates.com. Yeah. We will see you on the next episode. I have a special coming up real soon with both of my kids, so check that one out. All right, we'll see you on the next episode. Yeah. See y'all later.